Um, when we were uh, a relatively small sangha in Japan, um, we had the benefit of um, and the, the heat of being in small spaces together. And the training happened quite naturally because literally there was nowhere to escape to. Everybody knew what was happening with my body, speech, and mind because we were all in close proximity, right? So um, we didn't really realize that at the time. It just seemed kind of terribly inconvenient and uncomfortable. But now in retrospect, we realized that it was a fantastic crucible for everybody who was there. We, um, it was a great opportunity to unfold quite quickly. And um, we had great difficulty finding um, retreat locations, a place we could do meditations retreats there. We spent a lot of time looking and places would close or management would change and, and that was part of the motivation behind um, purchasing what became Clear Sky is we really wanted a meditation center that was our own that we could develop as, as we um, saw fit to reflect our ideas about enlightened community and enlightened activity. And uh, that's been an amazing exploration and continues to be and um, not everybody can be there all the time. So as you're saying, our, our Sangha, our community is very spread out around the world. And so we're realizing that we want to take advantage of, of the internet, that ability to study together by online and, and other digital methods. And um, that's where this concept of virtual monastery came from. So we've got the physical um, modern monastery. Of course, it's different from the monasteries, uh, traditional monasteries. Um, but we've got the physical monastery that's clear sky. And then for people who can't be there um, at any particular time, we'd like to also have a virtual monastery that people can um, continue our practice together, um, continue our teachings, continue our spiritual unfoldment um, through the means that are available.